Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, The Truth About God. My name is Erica Brown and I'm your motivational speaker. That's what I hear the Lord saying. I'm your servant. I'm your pastor. I'm your teacher. That's who I am and that's what God's purposed me to do. Okay. So today I want to talk to you guys about purpose. Okay. <laughs> See, I always say y'all, the Holy Spirit gives me the best segues. Be on purpose. Let me pray for you. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you for your word. Thank you for your will. Thank you for your presence in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, inhabit this word today. Inhabit it 50, 50 years from now. Inhabit it and transform and confirm your word to everybody who sees it from now until your coming in the mighty name of Jesus. Fill me with your spirit for your children who are watching with your spirit. Protect us, Father God, and give us wisdom, Lord Jesus, and bless this word to rest, rule, and abide in us in the mighty name of Jesus and be here, Lord Jesus. I can't do this without you. Be here. It's in your precious son, Jesus' name, I pray and ask it all, Father God. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and ask it all, Father God, amen. Now, let's get into it. Being on purpose, I'm going to read to you the word of God and then the Holy Spirit will give me revelation as to what he wants you to know, what the Lord wants you to know, okay? The call of Gideon. This is Judges chapter 6, verses 11 through, let me see y'all. Uh, Eighteen. Eighteen. Judges chapter 6, verses 11 through 18. The call of Gideon. Now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the terebinth at Oprah, which belonged to Joash the Abizarite, while his son Gideon was beating out wheat in the wine press to hide it from the Midianites. Come on, Holy Spirit. That's a word already, to hide it from the Midianites. Okay, I'm going to get back to that. Just let me keep going, Okay. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is with you, O mighty man of valor. Okay, let me just stop right here. Okay, because the Lord is speaking. I'm, I'm trying to get, I'm just trying to read it and the Lord is speaking already. Okay, let me just break, give you what the Lord is giving me. It says, The angel of the Lord came and sat under the terebinth of Oprah, which belonged to Joash the Abizarite, while his son Gideon, Gideon was beating out wheat in the wine press to hide it from the Midianites. You have got to stop hiding from your purpose. You have got to stop hiding. This is a word for you. This is a word for me. You cannot hide and do what God has called you to do. You cannot hide and do what God's called you to do. Okay. It's just not going to be possible in order for you to do what God has called you to do. You're going to have to reveal yourself to the world. You're going to have to be seen doing it. You're going to have to come out, so to speak. Okay. You're going to have to show people what God put inside of you. There's no way that you're going to be able to operate in your purpose under a blanket, <laughs> okay? You're not going to be able to operate in your purpose hiding. You're not going to be able to hide and, and you know, and do anything for God. You're going to have to be seen because that's how God was. He created us to be seen. He wants people to see what he put inside of us. How are they able going to see it if we're hiding it? All right. Now, let me move on because, you know, I was trying to read this straight through, but the Holy Spirit was speaking. So I had to stop. Now, I'm at verse 12 now. Um, Judges chapter 6, verse 12. That's where I'm starting back. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, the Lord is with you, O mighty man of valor. Okay, Holy Spirit, let me say this, because the Lord was dealing with me about this. And when I was praying and God was revealing to me who I was, he, the Holy Spirit reminded me of Gideon and how sometimes I feel like Gideon. And if I feel like Gideon, sometimes you feel like Gideon. And I feel, I hear the Lord saying for me to pray for you. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, help us, Lord, Lord Jesus. When you say things to us that don't line up with how we feel about ourselves, well, we get angry. 
we get frustrated. How could you call me something that I don't believe? How could you call me something that I don't feel? How could you see something in me? How dare you see something in me that I don't see in myself? And then furthermore, your vision scares me. Father God, bless us with boldness and courage, Lord Jesus, to be who we actually are. Not who we think we are, not who we believe we are, not what the world says we are, but who you say we are, Father God. It is by the power of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. It is in your precious son, Jesus' name, I pray and ask it all, Father God, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and ask it all, Father God, amen. Now, back to verse 12, okay? Judges chapter 6, verse 12. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, the Lord is with you, O mighty man of valor. And Gideon said to him, Please, sir, if the Lord is with us, why then has all this happened to us? And where are all his wonderful deeds that our fathers recounted to us, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord, but now, okay, let me start over again. Let me, I just want to make sure I'm in the right space. Thank you, Jesus. But now the Lord has forsaken us and given us into the hand of Midian. And the Lord turned to him and said, go in this might of yours and save Israel from the hand of Midian. Do not I send you? Okay, let me stop here. I hear the, I hear the Lord speaking. Um, do you see how in the previous verse, Gideon was saying, like Gideon was like on some other stuff. The Lord was saying, go, you mighty man of valor, right? That's what the Lord said. And then Gideon said, if the Lord is with me, why then has all this happened to us? And where are all his wonderful deeds that our fathers recounted to us saying, did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt, right? This is what the old folks are saying, but I ain't experienced this in my life. I ain't experienced the goodness of the Lord that you're talking about and you talking to me about going in this mighty man of valor. What about all this? The Lord have forsaken us. Like you see where Gideon is at, right? Now this is where the Lord is. And the Lord turned to him and said, go in this might of yours and save Israel from the hand of Midian. Do not I send you. The Lord was like, yeah, but go in this might of yours. Okay and um save israel from the hand of midian gideon was over here like ah and the lord was on the other side all right go in this might might of yours and save you know the, the israel from the hand of midian when god calls you and purpose you i hear the lord saying pray father god in the mighty name of jesus Help us to move when you say move, Lord Jesus. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, help us to not give you our excuses. Lord, we want to give them to you so bad. We act like you do not know what's going on in our lives. We act like you don't see us. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, help us to move when you move just like that. To move how you say move, when you say move, Lord Jesus. And bless us to catch up to it, to where you are, Lord Jesus. Because if you saying move and we feel we have reasons not to move, then that means that the reasons we think that we have are invalid because you said move. That means that you're with us and that we can go in this might of ours because we are mighty men and women of valor in the mighty name of Jesus. So help us to walk in the valor, Father God. Bless us to move forward, Father God. Bless us to trust you, Father God. Bless us to believe you, Father God. Bless us to be in our purpose, on purpose, Father God, and help us to walk it out by the power of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and ask it all, Father God, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forevermore in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray and ask it all Father God. Amen. Now. Okay. Back to it. 14. And the Lord turned to him and said, go in this might of yours and save Israel from the hand of Midian. 
do not I send you? And he said to him, please, Lord, how can I save Israel? Behold, now this is the reason. This is why, listen to Gideon telling the Lord who created him, who knows what he put inside of him, all right? God knows what he put inside of you. But he's telling God, I can't do this, right? Picture me telling God, God, I can't get on the internet to talk to these people. This was me. I'm telling you. I'm scared of this. These are the reasons why I can't do it. And the Lord say, go on YouTube and speak to my children. Okay? Now, the Lord say go. This is what Gideon said. All right? And he said to him, please, Lord, how can I save Israel? Behold, my clan is the, weak in, is the weakest in Manasseh. And I am the least in my father's house. Let me just like, okay. Mm. I'm the least in my father's house. But what your father said you could do, I created you. You not the least in my house. Okay, Jesus. All right. And the Lord said to him, but I will be with you and you shall strike the Midianites as one man. And he said to him, if now I have found favor in your eyes, then show me a sign that it is you who speak with me. Now, this is where I feel so grateful to God right now and the Holy Spirit, because there, I can't tell you how many times, okay, I hear the Lord saying pray it's for you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for your graciousness. Thank you, Father God, that when we need a sign, you will give us one. Somebody listening to this message in this moment needs a sign from you, needs confirmation, needs you to let them know that it's you talking to them. That it's not just this lady on the internet, that it's the Holy Spirit beckoning, beckoning them to come and do what their father created them to do. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, give them every confirmation that they need in the mighty name of Jesus. And as you hold up your end of the bargain, help them to move, Father God. When you give the confirmation to them, when you give them the revelation, when you give them the vision, Lord Jesus, when you speak a word into them, when you send a prophet, whatever you decide to do, however you decide to communicate your will to your children is your business in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, let them walk in it, Lord Jesus. But I repent of putting any limitations on you and how you get that word to them. I repent, Lord Jesus. And I pray, Lord Jesus, for your forgiveness. And I pray, Father God, that you will speak a word into your children and your good and perfect will that they will receive, and that they will walk in, and that they will activate, that they will activate beast mode like the Toyokia say, Father God, thank you, Holy Spirit, that they will activate by the power of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray and ask it all, Father God, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and ask it all, Father God, amen. Now, and the Lord said to him, but I will be with you and you shall strike the Midianites as one man. And he said to him, if now I have found favor in your eyes, then show me a sign that it is you who speak with me. Please do not depart from here until I come to you and bring out my present and set it before you. And he said, I will stay till you return. I hear the Lord telling me to pray. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for your goodness, Father God. Thank you for moving us from glory to glory. Thank you for waiting with us while we go get our present and set it before you, Lord Jesus. Let us set our lives before you, Lord Jesus. Let us set our hearts before you, Lord Jesus. Let us set our will before you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Give us the courage to be who you called us to be, even when it don't match up with what we feel about ourselves or what the world has said about us in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to go forward, Lord Jesus in our purpose, on purpose, by the power of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us, Lord Jesus. You are greater than anxiety. You are greater than nerves. You are greater than fear. You are greater than uncertainty. You are greater than what other people say. We don't need anyone's permission to serve you, Father God. Once you say go, bless us to go. Bless us to take off, Father God. By the power of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and ask it all, Father God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Thank you, Jesus. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and ask it all, Father God. Amen. Now, go in this might of yours, mighty man of valor, okay? Mighty woman of valor, and do whatever the Holy Spirit has will confirm to you that you're supposed to be doing because the Lord already told you, right? Whatever it is, you can do it. Whatever it is, you can do it. Whatever it is, God is with you. God said it. I'm with you, right? Let me find it. Um, And the Lord turned to him and said, go in this might of yours and save Israel from the hand of Midian. Do not I send you, right? And verse 16 says, and the Lord said to him, but I will be with you and you shall strike the Midianites as one man. You are not alone in this. I'm not alone sitting here doing this video. I need God to sit with me. I can't do this by myself. Okay. How many times I do this? I can't do this by myself. I need Jesus. Okay. And he's with me and he'll be with you. Okay. So be in your purpose, on purpose. It's time to go. It's time to take off, okay? Um, I had the Lord telling me to pray for you. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, you know the fear that is gripping the hearts of your children. You know the fear that has gripped us and kept us in bondage and made us think less of ourselves than what you called us to be. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, help us, give us the courage, Father God, and the boldness to walk in your strength and power and believe you and trust you and just get out there and do it, Lord Jesus. Bless us not to be afraid of failing, Lord Jesus. Bless us not to be afraid of being mocked or laughed at or ridiculed, Lord Jesus, because the longer we stay inactive, Lord Jesus, the longer that someone else who needs us is not being helped, the longer that someone is waiting, Father God, and we could be moving right now in your power, in the mighty name of Jesus. You said you with us, Lord Jesus, so bless us to trust you. Help us to put it to the test. The scripture says, don't put the Lord our God to the test, but you saying, see if I won't be with you. We're not putting you to the test in a, in a bad way, Lord Jesus. We just want to just let them know that you're with them, Lord Jesus, that you're going to go before them, Lord Jesus, that you won't let them fall, but they will never know that if they don't ever get out there and try. So help them get out there and try, Lord Jesus, and see if you won't show up for them. See if you won't give them wisdom. See if you won't let them walk in power. See if you won't anoint them. Let them know that you're with them, Lord Jesus. And I pray peace will be still in your heart, mind, body, spirit, and soul. It's in your precious son, Jesus' name, I pray and ask it all, Father. God, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against them. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Thank you, Lord. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and ask it all. Father God, amen. Y'all, I pray this message blessed you, helped you, and encouraged you and prompts you to get on purpose okay um if this message bless you helps you or encourage you please like subscribe and comment below and i'll see you guys next time bye